Good afternoon, Cross Timbers. Today is Wednesday, February 15, 2012. This is Texan TV News, a product of the Texan News Service, and I am Monica Mann. In today's headlines, Syrian oil pipeline is burning. Whitney Houston's private funeral is set in New Jersey. American Airline employees protest cuts. Bronc Riding Series is coming to the Lone Star Arena. FIMU hosts 17th annual Carnation Bake Sale. Tarleton men's basketball team retains number five spot and the weather. Now for today's top story. The Associated Press reports an oil pipeline in the central Syrian city of Homs is burning following an early attack yesterday. An activist said during the attack, regime troops stormed residential neighborhoods in the nearby city of Hama. The Britain-based Syrian Observatory for Human Rights said loud explosions were heard from the neighborhoods. Video by Homs activists broadcast on social networking sites showed thick black smoke billowing from what appeared to be a residential area. In national news, the AP reports Whitney Houston's funeral will be held in the church where she first showcased her singing talents as a child her family choosing to remember her in private service rather than in a large event at an arena. The owner of the Wiggum Funeral Home said that the funeral will be held this weekend at Newark's New Hope Baptist Church, which seats up to 1,500 people. Gospel singer Marvin Winans, a Grammy Award winner and longtime family friend, is expected to give the eulogy. Houston died at the age of 48 on Saturday at a hotel in Beverly Hills just hours before she was set to perform at producer Clive Davis's pre-Grammy Awards Bash. Officials say she was underwater and apparently unconscious when she was pulled from a bathtub. Los Angeles County Coroner's Assistant Chief Ed Winter said bottles of prescription medicine were found in the room. He would not give details except to say there weren't a lot of prescription bottles, no more than most people would have in their medicine cabinet. In Texas news, the AP reports that union members at American Airlines are angry and they showed it by protesting Tuesday at DFW Airport. Laura Gladding, president of the Flight Attendants Union, said airline management needs to see how angry, frustrated, and dismayed, work dismayed workers are by their proposed budget cuts. Flight attendants and other union members marched outside each entrance to Terminal D, protesting American Airlines' plan to make deep cuts in bankruptcy. The airline wants to slash 13,000 jobs, about one in every six, and make big changes to labor contracts. Two of the airline's three unions are, are, are already negotiating with the company. In a statement, American Airlines spokesperson Bruce Hicks acknowledged restructuring will be difficult, saying every employee group, unionized, independent, support staff, and management will be affected. Our goal is to exit as a growing, profitable company that preserves tens of thousands of jobs. American parent company AMR filed for bankruptcy protection in November. Labor and benefit cuts are a portion of the pl uh, plan filed by the company to become financially solvent. In regional news, Empire Tribune reports that the Rocky Mountain Bronc Riders Association will bring a winter bronc riding series to Stephenville on February 18th and April 15th at Lone Star Arena. Contestants will compete in ranch bronc riding, ro rookie bronc riding, and open bronc riding. RMBRA usually requires contestants to be a member of the association, but the winter series is open to any contestant wanting to enter. However, to be qualified for the fi finals on April 15th, the contestant must be a member. Memberships can be purchased at any time. The events will begin at 2 p.m. and tickets can be purchased at the door for $10 for adults and $5 for children, with children six and under admitted for free. For more information, you can visit www.rmbra.com. In campus news, the ladies of FIME are hosting their 17th annual Carnation Bake Sale supporting Children's Miracle Network. Melissa Rose said all of the proceeds that we raise from t-shirt money to all of the baked goods go to our philanthropy. Children's Miracle Network Hospitals. The sale has been going on since Tuesday and will continue through tomorrow. 
Thursday, February 16th. FIMU will be set up in front of Dick Smith Library from 10 to 2 those days. Baked goods are being sold for 50 cents and t-shirts are $10. In sports, according to tarletonsports.com, the men's basketball team locked up the number five spot again this week in the NABC Division II national rankings. Fortunately for the Texans, their triple overtime loss to Midwestern State Monday night didn't affect them in the polls because the game finished too late to be included in the decision making. The Texans look to rebound from the upset tonight at Wisdom Gym as they host Eastern New Mexico. Tip-off is set for 8 p.m. The weather today will be at a high of 74 degrees and a low of 40 degrees with a 60% chance of rain. Today's broadcast was produced by Casey Carpenter, Will Beauchart, and Ricardo Lomer. A special thanks to today's engineer, Matthew Mills. Today's stories come from the Associated Press, the Empire Tribune, and tarletonsports.com. Today's images come from the Associated Press, guardian.co.uk, conservativedailynews.com, rmbra.com, tarletonsports.com, and Tarleton FIMU event page on facebook.com. Today's weather comes from weather.com. You can follow us on ustream.tv slash user slash Texan News Service. Don't forget to tell your friends about us and become a fan of Texan TV News on Facebook. I am Monica Mann. Tune in tomorrow for the latest news from the Tarleton State University campus in Stephenville, Texas.